So welcome back to the Cumbria Nerd Cave. How are you all? It's Friday. Specifically, it's it's one week until Christmas Eve. So we're on the 17th. The uh, 17th. There you go. That's the one. Um, yeah. So we're we're rapidly hurtling towards Christmas Day now. We're we're nearly there. Wow. Um, sorry if yesterday's was a bit rubbish. By the way, I have not only a bad back. But I have also had uh, my booster as well, so I was feeling a little bit delicate yesterday, but uh, never mind. Enough about my woes, let's get on with it, let's get on with the good stuff. Uh, we shall start, as ever, with Kevin Le Carotte. I don't know if that's how you say it in French, but there you go. Uh, we are on number 17, as I said, so that is, where is that? There, it's the top of Kevin's missus' head. So let's pop that open. And we've got a carrot, haven't we? That's uh, that much we do know. We have a carrot, so there you go. Lovely stuff, nice carrot, and we have oh yeah, tiny train. Like we did with the Lego yesterday, we've got a train. Always nice and traditional to have a train at Christmas. Now then, where are we with that? Where's the? Hmm. Okay. Let's hope we don't need the tweezers today, because uh, I can't find them. Never mind. Um. 17. We're taking a big chunk out of the earth. Because why not? We are. Did you know? Did you know? Mars is the largest dust storms in the solar system. Yes, because it's just a great big ball of dust, is uh, Mars. Um, I'd imagine Pluto doesn't have wind because it doesn't have an atmosphere. You've got to have an atmosphere and lots of dust. So the perfect storm, literally the perfect storm on Mars. Uh, nice little Prezi there. Oh, that's nice. Okay, back to the future. Where are we? 17, right at the top of the lightning. Oh, yes, I found the tweezers. Um, 17, I don't know. We're due minifigures, aren't we? We're due lots of minifigures. Oh, we've got a minifigure. You see, it's a minifigure, but I don't know who it is. It feels like... Oh, here we go. That's everything. It is the one, the only. That's uh, Mad Dog Tannen. Oh, you see, this is the one I really wanted it for. I bloody love Mad Dog Tannen. He's so good. He's much, so much better than Biff. I mean, Biff's all right, but he's just a bully, isn't he? And... Uh, Potential rapist as well. Never ever analyse Back to the Future too much. Um, but Mad Dog, he just wants to shoot people and kill people. He's much more of a pantomime villain than the the you know the other two bits who was basically Donald Trump, right? Um, but yeah, bloody love Mad Dog. Excellent stuff. Very happy with that. Um, Seventeen on the old Sonic calendar is here. I reckon it's another arm. It's here. I will get the tweezers for this. I, I suspect I probably need them. Okay. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Oh no, it isn't. There we go. It is. It's an important bit, but it's not an arm. This, I think you'll find, is Sonic's belly. So Sonic's belly, there we go. We're going to hurtle through this a little bit because I am running out of battery on my camera, it is telling me. So uh, there we go. Uh, 17 is down here. There it is. Look, uh, we had a tiny train yesterday. So I'm expecting, I don't know what I'm expecting, minifigure? Maybe it's been a little while. Uh, yes, it is a minifigure. There is your little baggy. And there is man in top hat posting letter. There we are. That's that for today. Brilliant stuff. And Star Wars. I don't know. Are we expecting a minifigure with Star Wars as well? Maybe. Uh, or a little ship. We've not had a little ship in a while, have we? There we are. 17. Right at the base of the, uh, the sand person base. Yes, we've got another ship. And I think I know what that is. That is uh, the light cruiser. 
Gideon's light cruiser, I think. Uh, that's what it looks like on here anyway. There you go. That's that. So, leave me to build. I should be back in a couple of seconds with hopefully enough juice to actually show you what I've built. So, bye-bye uh, for now. And we're back. Thanks for waiting around. Um, so, Sonic will do first. So, yeah, it's his belly. He hasn't got a gaping hole where his belly should be. Just a gaping neck hole there. But there you go. It's coming together, isn't it? It's looking good. I think so. Um, Lego City. Indeed, it was a little man, but not with a letter. It's a list. It's a Christmas list of some description, although I can't read it because it's illegible. But uh, there you go. Nice little happy man with a top hat on doing stuff for Christmas. There you go. And we were right, Lego Star Wars. It's Moff Gideon's cruiser, like cruiser. His little ship. It's even got three little engines on the back there. Look, you can see. Um, and it's got that little channel that they have to fly down at the end of season one. Sorry, season two, that is. Um, God, I'm getting all mixed up with the seasons. Yeah, season two, where they fly down the middle to get into, because that's where the TIE Fighters come out of. Yeah, it's very good. I like it a lot. Um, but there you go. And obviously we've got Mad Dog Tannen, Buford Mad Dog Tannen. Going to keep showing that, because that's awesome. I'm assuming the next couple of days we get some uh, accessories for him. That would be cool. But uh, anyway, that's day 17 done with. Um, please do join me for day 18. We'll have a look at some cool stuff. It'll be amazing. Uh, in the meantime, do take your care. Ooh, do take your care. Do take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye for now.